one tool, if you will. It's not really so much as an, as an assessment strategy as it is a presentation strategy. Uh, has to do with something that I call a block syllabus. Um, and in the block syllabus, um, I present uh, in the first day of class the normal nuts and bolts of what's in a syllabus. But then instead of laying out nine or ten weeks of a quarter and what I anticipate us covering in that quarter, um, I will lay out two weeks of the quarter um, and invite the students to have a look at the textbook, kind of do a little soul searching and ask themselves why they're in the class and, and if there's a particular phenomenon or a particular aspect of brain and behavior that they're particularly interested in. And when they come up with that, to email me or to make their vote uh, known in class uh, and offer it up as a, a possible topic to be covered sometime in the last eight weeks of the class. I don't think I've ever said no to a topic, but there are certainly times when I've gone, whoa, okay, I don't know anything about that, but I can find out. And, and one of the beauties of, of the block syllabus is that it keeps things fresh for me because I really don't know from quarter to quarter what it is that I'm going to be covering. Um, the second technique or tool, and this one is, is much more relevant to um, assessment, has to do with a um, kind of an integration of assessment tools that I've used a lot in the past but never really thought of putting them together. Uh, in the particular class that uh, I, I first applied this to, um, it's Psychology 320. It's a 300 level course studying in some detail uh, specific topics having to do with brain and behavior. And in the past I've had uh, as part of the assessment procedure some combination of a term paper and or a, a poster presentation. And these have always come at the end of term, um, which means that you've got two major projects due at the end of term. And in the past, I've made them mutually exclusive, thinking that I would uh, encourage my students to, to learn as much as possible about the, uh, the areas that they're interested in. And having sat down with the student who has taken this class in the past, I, I, I asked her about them. And it was one of the first times that I got a wrinkled nose and I thought, oh, this is kind of interesting. I'm not sure that this actually worked. So last summer what we thought we would do is we would integrate the term paper and the poster presentation and make them complement one another, uh, which meant that they could be on a single subject. And what we decided to, to do was to move the term paper from an end of term paper to a midterm paper. Uh, so it's due halfway through. And once the term paper is submitted, their task then is to sit down with this much larger pile of, of papers on this topic than they would otherwise have and pick their favorite paper or what they feel is the seminal experiment from uh, all these ex experiments that, that they've uh, read and to prepare that for a presentation at the end of quarter in terms of a poster presentation. And in that respect, the class was much the same as I've always done. We go through uh, poster presentation according to the guidelines for the Society for Neuroscience. And then the last week of class was poster week. And I tried to make it as much as possible like a real poster session. I, I really think this idea really helped make the posters real for the students. Um, there were many fewer instances where I had to jump in and uh, answer a question that was asked. And in fact, most of the time when I talked over the course of that week, it was because I wanted to, as opposed to I had to. Uh, the students were much more prepared to uh, present their posters, much more comfortable with the questions. Um, in a lot of respects, the questions were much better because there was actually a give and take. A question would be asked, an answer would be given, which would generate another question. Um, and overall, I think it was a much more positive experience, certainly for me, but also for the students.